Hello, welcome to the online open day of K11. You are here in the session of Materials Engineering. I am Maria Seo, Program Director of the Department of Materials Engineering and will introduce you to our master program, which also includes the EIT CAKE dual degree track for sustainable materials engineering. Materials are at the heart of our quality of life and economic welfare. Materials determine our future technology, therefore materials engineers are indispensable. Our master program aims at educating you in the way that you become able to design new materials and make sustainable choices, both in an industrial and academic environment. By doing this, you consider the so-called material science triangle namely the relationship between the internal structure of a material, its functional properties and the processes involved. At our department, we study and develop new materials for a better world. This means we develop materials with better performance, but also in a more efficient and environmentally friendly processes. This effort involves experimental as well as theoretical work. And we put a strong emphasis on sustainability, where we use our limited resources smartly and efficiently, and where we develop recycling processes to recover valuable resources. Our research is also strongly reflected in our master program, where we train our students to become sustainable materials engineers. This means that you will learn how to invent, design, make and use materials for products, processes and services. You will be educated for leadership in sectors where materials play an essential role. This can be, for instance, automotive, manufacturing, microelectronics and chemical industries. Materials engineers are prepared for work as process engineers materials or product developers, design specialists, quality control engineers, or even consultants. And graduates with an interest in research can apply for an R&D position or start a PhD. A few examples where our alumni are currently working can be seen here. Here you can see the example of Yumicor, a multinational materials technology company with the headquarter in Belgium. Yumicor is the world's largest recycler of precious metals and is also well known for their closed loop business model, where they combine the development of clean energy materials with recycling. For instance, Jeroen Höhlens is a graduate from our department is the current director of pyrometallurgy at Umicor for recycling and extraction technologies for critical metals. Looking at Umicor's main portfolio, which includes lithium ion batteries, synthetic photovoltaics, and catalysis, we can see that they are all directly connected to their recycling processes, where over 20 metals can be recycled. Thus, expertise of materials engineers becomes essential for Yumiko. Therefore, many of our graduates found their way to Yumiko. And also, our department strongly collaborates with Yumiko. Some of our graduates have started their own business, such as Reinforce, which was found by our graduates Niels and Michael. They developed a hybrid composite material consisting of carbon and steel fibers and that shows a significantly improved impact resistance compared to conventional carbon fiber composites and produce with this composite than bike frames which are much more safe than carbon fibers. After six years, the company counts now 28 collaborators and runs its own production line for bike frames. They have received also several awards, for instance, the most disruptive innovator prize in Belgium uh, three years ago. 
Some of our graduates remain at our department as PhD student or postdoctoral researcher or even as professor. We currently count 30 professors in many different fields. And for instance, the Cosmolite suite case of Samsonite is developed in collaboration with the composite group of our department. You maybe have already seen one or have one at home. Just to show you a few research areas, uh, you can see, for instance, X-ray micro CT image of a face mask for COVID-19, 3D printed dental bridge or dental implant, or cement and concrete made from metallurgical slag, or high temperature processes for metals or printed flexible thermoelectric generators. Now coming to our master program, it consists of 60 credits for core courses, which include materials families, methods and techniques, applications and design. Then you have the options for 12 credits, which will be explained in the next slide much more into detail. Then also elective packages, which can be research, production or management oriented. Then for six credits, you can freely choose as engineering electives, as well as another six ECTS uh, within general interest courses. And last but not least, the master's thesis rounds up the program with 24 credits so that you reach in total 120 ECTS. Now the options which I mentioned before focus on materials families and or application domains such as metals and ceramics, polymers and composites, or materials for nanotechnology or materials for biomedical applications. Now, if you are interested in our dual degree track, the EIT CAG dual degree in sustainable materials engineering, called in short EIT SUMA, is an interesting alternative. EIT stands for European Institute of Innovation and Technology, and this track is um, funded by the European Union, and a lot of details can be found on its website. Now in this short video, you will see René, um, who is our uh, previous SUMA student and is now a PhD student. And uh, he will give you a short overview about this program. With the growing world population, we also need more and more materials. More and more material also means more and more raw materials. So how do we get them? How do we find them? In this program, they teach you to tackle things differently. They teach you to be brave enough to solve problems. You get the possibility to be totally creative in engineering, which is absolutely unique, I think. You have a lot of colleagues from all over the world. It's uh, an amazing experience also in, in cultural exchange. The EIT SUMA program foresees for this first year core courses which are related to materials, processing, sustainability and recycling. The full list you can see here. The second year is dedicated to industrial internship, master thesis as well as to courses for 30 credits on innovation and entrepreneurship. These two years are called mobility years because the first year study will be at a different university than the second year study. Between these two mobility years, there will be a summer school on circular economy. There are four different tracks possible within EIT SUMA. For instance, you can decide to follow the track number one. You spend the first year in Leuven and go then for the second year to another location which can be, for instance, Grenoble, Trento in Italy, Leoben in Austria, or Milano Bicocca in Italy. These four different tracks have slightly different focus. The first two tracks focus on sustainable materials, whereas the track number three and four focus on materials development 
and sustainable metallurgy, respectively. For admission, there is the official program guide of the KU Leuven, where a lot of details can be found, also including the language requirement. The application deadlines are as follows for European and non-European applicants, and the application is done online using this website which is indicated here. Now, there are many good reasons to choose KU Leuven. For instance, KU Leuven has been Europe's most innovative university for four consecutive years, and according to QS World University, KU Leuven ranks uh, 70. With this respect, our department scores even better uh, according to the list of top universities. So, um, currently we are on position 52, and uh, in the past we have been also rather in the 40s, so rather in between 40s and 50s. Now there are even more reasons to join our master program and uh, most probably our assistants can tell you much more about this, but in any case uh, I think we are compared to other departments like mechanical engineering and electrical engineering um, smaller, but I would say we are certainly the most cheerful department within the faculty. And these pictures show a little bit of social activities um, we have within our department where we also include the master students and so on. More information can be found on our website, but you are also very welcome to send your questions to the email addresses which I included here in this slide. So for questions, um, you are very welcome to um, put it into the chat box or uh, use your microphone to ask your questions and we'll be very happy to answer your questions. And while waiting for the questions, some pictures of our research um, in order to give you some yeah, impression of our research activity in our department. Thank you.